Hi folks, this is Rapski from the AK Operators Union Local 4774. Unfortunately, I wasn't uh, able to finish our review today at the ranch because of the conditions outside. We had like 25 miles gas wind uh, with uh, negative six in the wind and uh, it was constantly knocking down our tripod for the camera. Uh, but here we are and uh, let me talk about uh, that uh, jet uh, break which I was testing today uh, however there are a few things which you have to consider before changing uh, to this brake from the standard AK-74 brake uh, first of all uh, you're going to have a little bit more weight uh, up from at the end of the rifle the weight of this brake uh, jet brake uh, is a little bit more than 5 ounces compared to the 3 ounces uh, from the standard brake also, as you can see, uh, if we'll put them side by side, you can see that the jet brake made by SRVV uh, is around, uh, you know, almost a quarter inch uh, longer from the standard brake. So uh, these are the trade-offs which you have to take uh, into the considera consideration when uh, you are going to install the jet brake. However, now let's talk about the positives. Uh, the brake performed extremely well. I mean, there is absolutely no recoil. Uh, and I mean absolutely no recoil. You can drive that gun from target to target without any problems. And the uh, gun is uh, much easier to control, especially when you are engaging the multiple targets or you are engaging the same target multiple times. So that's a big, big value add. However, uh, you have to realize that with the way how this brake is made, with uh, the way how these holes in the brake are shaped, you're going to have a tremendous pressure wave coming on the sides of the brake. So if you are running with your teammate and you have a people to the right and to the left, it is going to be very uncomfortable for them. And yes, they're going to feel it. Uh, so something to keep in mind, okay, when you got that brake. Uh, another thing is, uh, even when I was shooting from the, uh, from the uh, like modified prone position when I was down and I turned the gun uh, and turned my rifle uh, on the side and I squeezed the trigger, that pressure wave uh, was just absolutely blowing my leg off. So uh, nothing what you cannot control it, you can get used to it, uh, but it is surprising at first. So. Uh, something to keep in mind that uh, when you're going to have that break uh, you probably have to practice it a little bit uh, get comfortable with it uh, and uh, understand better how this break works and uh, what this break offers to you but also what are the trade-offs and what you are compromising other than this I honestly think so it is a great break uh, for the for the really good price uh, you can get it here in the United States uh, exclusively from the US distributor for the SRVV which is a Circle 10 AK and I'll post the link to uh, to uh, their web page to their store right at the uh, description to that video uh, uh, I highly encourage you guys uh, if you want to upgrade your weapon and uh, you are in uh, lookout for a good break this is a good solution uh, so um, I'm really impressed with the performance. Few things to remember, uh, downsides as I said, but uh, nothing what you cannot handle. And uh, if you are really not shooting uh, as a, you know, in the large teams and uh, you don't have a teammate to the right or to the left, it's not that bad. There was another point of concern. People were talking about how loud this break is. Uh, and to be honest with you, uh, I did measurement uh, measuring device how many decibels we scored uh, and I had to put the uh, like a dump filter on it and I think we clocked that break at um, 85 decibels plus a 40 decibels filter so this would put that break in the in the neighborhood over 125 decibels uh, that's not perfect uh, measurement uh, but it wasn't much very much louder than the standard break so I just want to point this out something to keep in mind okay and as I said, it wasn't a scientific measurement. I just used the application from my phone and uh, these are not perfect. And I had to apply the big filter to, to trim it down. But uh, from just from my feeling, from the ear feeling, I didn't feel like uh, this brake was much, much louder than uh, you know standard brakes, which you can have uh, on your AK or <clears throat> any other brakes. Uh, 
the biggest point of concern for me was that pressure wave but uh, it is something for something that's it please let me know if you have any questions I, and uh, I'll try to answer these uh, and uh, I really at this point I would say it, it is a recommended product okay thank you thanks for watching guys